the more things change, the more they remain the same. Larry Elder was attacked by a group of Democrats, looked like they was homeless Democrats, probably some people that was let back out on the street <clears throat> by these liberal judges to go out and cause chaos and anarchy and attack Christians and, and, and Trump supporters and Republicans. See, this is what this is all about. But the more things change, the more they remain the same. <clears throat> if the Democrat has this, uh, this tactic, you put, put on something over your face and attack people. And this is what the KKK did. This is what the KKK, the Ku Klux Klan, did the same thing. You put on a mask because you're the people that live in town with the people that you're attacking. And you, 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 you cloak your identity. And the, and the girl had on, she attacked Larry Elder and his, his group. She had on a, a monkey, a gorilla mask. No kidding. She, it was a white skin person. I don't know if it was a woman or not. It was a person because with, with the left, there's no gender, right? There's no gender. It was a person with white skin wearing a, a black face gorilla suit. If that was not racist, <clears throat> if that wasn't racism, what, what else would there be? Okay. And the Black Lives Matter and the black politicians and the black pastors and all, all those who hated Trump and said that Trump was racist and they were so concerned about racism in America, where's your outcry against this? The Democrats have trained the black community to be quiet and to shut up as long as the person is a Republican. He's black. It can be black. But if he's a Republican and the person that's attacking him is white, it's not racism. You just be quiet because that person deserves it because they're a Republican. When it's a Republican Party that freed the blacks, the Republican Party that wrote the, the, the 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment that gave us the right to vote, the right to work, the right to go to schools. But this person in this this face and a couple of more people attacked Larry Elder. She, she had an egg in her hand and she threw the, she or it threw an egg at Larry Elder and it barely missed his head. And his bodyguard went back there and confronted, confronted her and she said, don't you hit me. Don't you get in my face. Don't you touch me. And then she, she hit him with a left hook. Now, I don't hit women. I never have. But I hit a gorilla. I will jack a gorilla up. You, okay, you're a gorilla, right? Well, then I'm a silverback. I'm a silverback. You're a gorilla with, with pink hair, with a black face. I'm a, I'm a silverback. And, and if you get up in my face like that, spreading disease in my face, well, then... What you, you, you're releasing a weapon. We're in the midst of a COVID pandemic and you all up in my face, spreading your germs on me. That's a weapon. So I would just do self-defense on you. No, I don't hit a woman. No, I never have. I never will. But I will hit a gorilla. I don't know what's under that mask. All I know is somebody's attacking me. <laughs> I, will, I will hit a gorilla. That's right. Well, while the bodyguard was walking away, there was another bald-headed white guy walked up to him and hit him in the head and another lady hit him with an egg. And I don't think they're gonna go to jail because if you support the left, if you've been sent by George Soros, as in Antifa, as in Black Lives Matter, well, then you just get a free pass. And most of those people are child molesters, crime criminals, drug heads, all of them, teachers. So their tactics don't change. Like what I said to people, I said Antifa is nothing but a modern day KKK and Black Lives Matter is, a, is another form of that to attack the white communities and black communities and burn them down. Because if you're black, you kind of get a pass and the media will support you while you're going out there burning down your own convenience stores, burning down your own jobs, burning down your own businesses. And now you don't have anything left. But I hope Larry Elder wins. I hope he wins because they're recalling uh, Newsom out there in California and they don't want it. But the left sees this as a major threat because California is a, is a power is a powerhouse. And I pray that Larry gets it and stop all of this lockdown and shut down stuff and send all the water out into the ocean so that there will be no no water for farm farming. 
Anyway, y'all let me know what you think about that. I'll see you on the next one.